Wild Viral Channel presents. If you ask someone who will win the fight between a dog and a cat, he will most likely laugh at you. What if the dog and the cat weighed the same? Let's analyze the situation. Yorkshire Terrier. The Yorkshire Terrier is a compact, toy sized terrier of no more than 7 pounds, whose crowning glory is a floor length silky coat of steel blue and a rich golden tan. But they're not born that way. Puppies are black, and their coat color develops as they mature. The Yorkshire Terriers don't have typical dog fur. Instead they have a coat which is made up of hair almost identical to human hair, which makes the breed a good choice for those with pet allergies. The breed was developed during the 19th century in Yorkshire, England. They were developed through breeding the waterside terrier with various other terriers. The word terrier comes from terra, meaning earth, as these dogs were bred to control rats, pursuing them below ground. They tend to be fun but feisty, and love to chase. While used as working dogs by weavers to control rodents, they became quite fashionable during Victorian times. The trendiness of this breed is still notable today, as Yorkies have become one of the most popular breeds since coming to the United States in the 1870s. The American Kennel Club first recorded a Yorkie in 1885. For its first few years, the Yorkshire Terrier breed was called the Broken Haired Scotch Terrier, Broken Haired Toy Terrier or simply Toy Terrier. By the 1970s, the name Yorkshire Terrier was adopted to honor the place where the breed began. Small in size but big in personality, the Yorkshire Terrier makes a feisty but loving companion. The most popular toy dog breed in the United States, the Yorkie has won many fans with their devotion to their owners, their elegant looks, and their suitability to apartment living. A small, compact dog, the Yorkshire Terrier stands about 8 to 9 inches, 20 to 23 centimeters, with a maximum weight of 7 pounds. 3 kilograms. Don't be fooled by this toy breed's tiny stature they are 7 pounds of pure tomboy. This spunky personality has earned the Yorkie its nickname, the tomboy toy. Even if show dogs should weigh between 4 to 7 pounds, Yorkies can weigh as much as 12 to 15 pounds. A Yorkie who weighs less than 4 pounds is more prone to health problems, and more likely to suffer complications while under anesthesia. However, the smallest dog in history was a Yorkie. The smallest dog alive today is a 4-inch Chihuahua named Miracle Millie. But Millie is still bigger than Sylvia, a Yorkshire Terrier who for 70 years has remained the smallest dog in recorded history. Sylvia was 2.5 inches tall, measured 3.5 inches long and weighed only 4 ounces. Yorkies are very small dogs, but it seems like no one told them that. The dogs have no problem taking on animals considerably bigger than them. In August 2015, Larry Yep has stepped out of his home early in the morning while it was still dark out. A bear had been rummaging through his trash and attacked the man. Yep has put up a good fight, but struggled to get away from the agitated 200-pound mammal. Luckily, his Yorkie was there to nip at the heels of the attacker and distract it long enough for the duo to make a quick escape. Thanks to his pet's intervention, the bloodied victim was able to drive himself to the hospital, and live to tell the tale. The first therapy dog in the world was a Yorkshire Terrier. At the point when American warrior Bill Wynn found a Yorkshire Terrier in a foxhole during World War II, he named her Smokey and took her in. The two traveled through New Guinea, and Smokey soon began to help with the war effort. Thanks to her small size and obedience, she provided a heroic service by dragging communications cable through a 60-foot-long culvert that was only 8 inches wide, under a former Japanese airstrip. Without her help, soldiers would have had to dig trenches and expose themselves to enemy fire. Smokey additionally visited clinics all through the Pacific and the United States, working as a therapy dog for injured soldiers. After wartime, she and Wynne went to Hollywood, where she performed on different TV shows. 
you can visit a monument dedicated to her memory where she died, in Cleveland, Ohio. You can also read Smokey's story in the book Yorkie Doodle Dandy written by his owner, Corporal William A. Wynn. Judging by their bravery and boldness, Yorkies have no idea how small they are, or else they have the confidence not to let their diminutive size hold them back. Loyal to the bone, Yorkies have been known to protect their owners from any threat. Margay Margay is a mammal that belongs to family of cats. It is one of the rarest and most fascinating animals in the world, as you will see below. This animal can be found in Mexico, Central and South America, near the Amazon, and in Argentina, Uruguay, Belize, and Brazil. It was once found in the United States, in Texas. The last Margay seen in the United States was spotted in the 1850s. Margay prefers life in rainforests, deciduous and evergreen forests, but it can be also spotted near the coffee and cocoa plantations. Margay is shy animal that avoid people and exact number of remaining animals in the wild is unknown. Scientists believe that Margay should be listed as vulnerable because of the accelerated habitat loss and extensive hunting. It is estimated that more than 14,000 Margays is killed each year because of the fur. Margay are also known as the tree ocelot or long-tailed spotted cat. They vary in color from grayish brown to tawny yellow, and have rows of dark spots on their coats. Their heads, neck, and throat have black lines and similar to a tiger, the backs of their ears are black with a white spot in the center. Both males and females are similar in size and appearance. Like a tiger's, leopard's, or cheetah's, the margay's patterns are specific to each individual. The cat's fur is relatively soft and thick, and, unusually, grows in reverse on the back of its neck, instead, slanting forwards. Spots on their fur are present from the moment of birth. Young margays open their eyes two weeks after birth. A margay is about the size of a house cat but is spotted like a leopard and lives almost its entire life in trees. In fact, it's easily the most arboreal of all cats and consequently bears the nickname, the monkey cat. It weighs from 2.6 to 4 kilograms, 5.7 to 8.8 .8 pounds, with a body length of 48 to 79 centimeters, 19 to 31 inches, and a tail length of 33 to 51 centimeters, 13 to 20 inches. Margay has large eyes adapted to night vision, because it is nocturnal animal. Unlike most other cats, the female possesses only two teeth. The margay is a solitary and primarily nocturnal animal. In southern Brazil, however, it has been recorded as being active during the day as well. It mainly rests and sleeps in trees, making its nests in hollows and is regarded as being more arboreal and better adapted to living in trees than other species of cat. Nevertheless, margays hunt and travel mostly while on the ground. Margays, like most cats, are territorial. Their home ranges to some extent may overlap, but individual animals keep their distance from one other. They mark their territory with urine, and secretions that come from scent glands between their toes and on their faces. Males have additional glands on their tails for this purpose. Margay hunts small mammals, including monkeys and birds, eggs, lizards and tree frogs. It also eats grass, fruit, and other vegetation, most likely to help digestion. A 2006 report about a margay chasing squirrels in its natural environment confirmed that the long-tailed spotted cat is able to hunt its prey entirely in trees. However, margays do sometimes hunt on the ground, and have been reported to eat terrestrial prey, such as cane rats and guinea pigs. In Manaus, Brazil, a margay was observed trying to attract pied tamarind by mimicking their calls. Instead of stalking prey, the margay likes to lie in ambush for prey. They are agile climbers, using their broad feet, flexible toes, and large claws to grip, and its long tail for balance. Their hind feet can rotate inwards through 180 degrees, allowing them to grip a tree trunk, 
and making it capable of climbing headfirst down vertical trees, just like squirrels. The margay is one of only two cat species with ankles flexible enough to climb headfirst down trees. The other is the clouded leopard, the little studied marbled cat may also have this ability. The margay is known for its distinct acrobatic skills and preference for heights. Of all of the felines, the margay is the most adapted to live in trees. A margay can ricochet off objects in mid-leap, jump 8 feet, 2.5 meters, straight into the air and 12 feet, 3.7 meters, horizontally. When jumping over distance, margays fling all of their four legs out, as a squirrel does. It can even hang by its hind feet while manipulating an object with its front feet. Margay can survive less than 10 years in the wild and up to 20 years in captivity. Pregnancy in females lasts between 76 and 84 days and it ends with one or two kittens. Mother keeps the babies hidden in a den made in the hollow tree or in the underground burrow. Margays reproduce slowly. Female gives birth every two years, litter size is small and mortality of babies is very high, 50%. Because of the margay's inability to produce large litters, or litters with multiple births, combined with the fact that they only reproduce once every two years and the kitten mortality rate is so high, their outlook for survival, both in the wild and in captivity is grim. Now, that we know the two fighters, let's return to our question. If a cat and a dog of equal size would fight, who would win? I will answer this question by referring in general to this two kinds of animals, and not to this particular case that I have presented. Dogs are pack hunters. Cats, with the exception of lions, are solitary killers and this is one on one. Dogs weapon is their bite and stamina. Cats have the bite, two slashing front paws and two raking hind paws. Cats also have superior agility and flexibility. Also, cats are stronger than dogs pound for pound. The conclusion is just one. Whether you choose a fighting dog, a guard dog, a shepherd dog, etc., any of these dogs will lose the fight against a cat of the equal size. Thank you for watching and I hope I did not disappoint the dog lovers too much. I am waiting for you next week with another interesting confrontation in the animal world. Bye.